All right, hi you guys, it's just Cosmic Love here again. Um, I'm doing a reading for the Divine Masculine. I was dancing around the house and I just all of a sudden just got this like profound need to pull some cards for them. Um, it seems like their energy is just coming out of the woodwork and we are needing to address some things. So, um, the two cards that I got here for the overall, uh, the Great Gathering, and it says it's all coming together, Intuitive Hits, Soul Tribe, and Answer the Call. What is your soul, soul calling you to do? So it seems like there is some changes happening for the divine um, masculine. Just looking at those cards initially without even reflecting on these ones here. Um, the divine masculine is in a state of choice and he is getting ready to, he or she, depending of course, it's all energy so it doesn't really matter. Um, you can be a female and you can have more of a divine masculine core and vice versa. So, um, it looks like they are being asked by spirit to go upon this new journey of like really tapping into what their pure potential is and what they want for themselves in their life and creation um, and actually developing something special with their soul tribe, which would include their divine feminine, of course. Um, so yeah, it's just spirit saying, what is your soul calling you to do right now? What are you, um, what are you needing to go take part of? And it's all coming together. So listen to spirit, follow your intuition and allow that to get you to where you need to go. All right, so the first card I pulled was the devil card. Now, a lot of people get freaked out when they see the devil card and they're like, oh my gosh, what is this? This is uh, scary and dark and, you know, the thing with the devil card is it's more about being committed. It's more about making a decision and having that be it, end all be all, quick decisions. You can see here we've got the divine masculine, divine feminine figures, that soul tie between the two of them. Um, so this is just saying that like, you know, there's a decision, a distinct decision that the divine masculines are making right now, um, which follows up with this here and um, it's a calling. It's a calling to their divine feminine. It's a calling to the collective um, betterment of, of the collective, of the divine feminines and masculines alike. So um, judgment here, you know, it's, it's, it's divinely purposed. It's something where, you know, they've had to make this decision. This decision has been around for a while and... Um, they've been waiting in this like emotional pool of unsureness and um, they've had some options. They've had some options of what and whom and where they're going to be going, but now they finally heard the calling. They finally had this angel come upon them and say, no, divine masculines, this is it. This is your divine feminine. Here, look. I'm calling out to you. I'm letting you know who it is and what you need to do in order to uh, energetically match up with this. And so, you know, it might not be the specific person because, of course, energy is energy. It's not about a physical human being. It's actually about the connection to the higher purpose, the connection to the divinity and the um, energetic pull in our souls that are in alignment. And it just seems like there's been a lot of 
of fighting. There's been a lot of, like, walls up. And the Divine Masculines have been really, really afraid of just, like... I mean, they're trying. They're, they're more, like, angry. I, I shouldn't say af afraid, but they've been fighting this urge. They've been fighting this, like, this passionate... Um, this passionate calling from within that has been transpiring for them. And, um, you know, it's, it's time for them to let that go. It's time for them to move ahead, move ahead. Right. Um, you know, obviously that's divine feminine energy in this card moving ahead towards the divine feminine because you know in all honesty that's where the happiness lies is knowing what your energetic calling is you know you could have all these cups here but that isn't the highest level of um amazing like potential you know you could you could be fine on your own you can that's fine no problem but and you'll make it through but for a divine masculine, there is more to life. There's more to life in anybody's life than just living mundane, mediocre things. And so divine, a divine masculine, he's had to really face, he's had to face a lot of his um, own traumas, his own um, pains that have been like literally pinning him to the ground and uh, he's been unable to move um out of this energy and you know he needs to let let all those burdens one at a time be plucked out of him so that he can get up you know so he can get up and he can start moving forward and you know it's it's going to be hard it's going to be hard at first right like you can see divine feminine is here and she's going through the same thing remember you guys are a mirror to each other so when one of you is going through this like hardship and this pain and like you know you're just like facing traumas you're both doing it you're both simultaneously going through these changes and when one does it the other does it so as soon as he starts to divine or divine uh, masculine starts to remove those burdens and release some of those pains that have been holding him back that gives room for divine feminine to do the same thing and you know divine masculine is always going towards divine feminine regardless divine feminine is always the positive polarity in this relationship in this energetic pull towards divine um understanding divine love divine development divine creation and really it's all about that divine creation and um it's going to be difficult at first and you know you're going to feel unsure and you're going to feel a little bit crazy you're going to think oh my gosh am i making the right decision and um, you know, Divine Feminine's probably going to not be giving you all of her wisdom right off the bat. You're not going to maybe find the person right away. Maybe it's going to be in just, just the energy itself is going to be speaking to you. And maybe not Divine Feminine. Maybe Divine Feminine is, is just going to be in the back um, whispering to you through telepathy and through source uh letting you know that you're on the right track um but also maybe sending you guiding sing signals that aren't what you would assume they would be because we know divine doesn't always speak in specific terms divine it will give you the information you need in order for you to make the decision that is in most alignment with purpose with your divine calling your divine mission so um it can be very confusing at times and you know you can be stuck in this place he's got his head bandaged up you know he's missing a shoe so he's he's feeling a little bit crazy right now and uh just trying to like keep going even though he's been hurt and he's been 
you know, bleeding out all over the place because he's been just, hurt. like, it seems like maybe Divine Masculine has been hurt by people, been really, really hurt by people in the past, and he is wounded in a lot of ways, and, you know, he's doing the work, he's definitely doing the work, and will get to that stage um, as soon as he pulls out all of those um, things that are holding him back from realizing that the only thing he needs to do is just go forward into this, um, this new beginning, this new, uh, passionate calling. And what is amazing is this is all going to end up reaping some beautiful, beautiful endings with the star card here. You know, that's your, that's your ending, your divine ma uh, feminine, you know, this is where it's all coming to. And, you know, your divine feminine is the guiding light. So if there is somebody that, you know, maybe you're unsure of, or maybe they're just giving you these like very tingly sensations, these like uh, the stars here, they make me think of the like little prickles or like there's some body feelings that you might be receiving uh, with this person and maybe there's no communication and maybe you're unsure how to go about the communication or maybe the communication is actually causing you to like build this emotional feeling inside and it's making you like maybe a little stir crazy but um divine feminine will always use emotional things and that will stir the divine um masculine up so divine feminine is she is that that beautiful emotional being who provides the the shift in your energy and um she's very one she's one with nature you know she's she's beautiful and untapped and divine masculine he is just he or she is just um, looking to be more <clears throat> natural and and remove the burdens that are holding them back. And although it's scary, and um, you know you feel like you have to put your guard up again um, and clothe yourself in order to uh, protect yourself from this kind of energy. Um, but in reality, you need to step into the emotional aspects of things and be unafraid to just be who you are. Divine masculines, they really are, or they're doing this, they're starting to feel the sensations, they're starting to um, understand that there is power in not being... Um, so guarded and that you know although they they have gone through a lot and although they have been fighting this battle of unsureness of where they're gonna go um they're getting there they, they've heard the calling you know they can see that these two people look they're very similar divine masculine can see that there is nothing wrong with being naked in the world and that the calling is to be transparent to be vulnerable to allow yourself to step into this and that will create that soul tie right that is there isn't anything but this chain that's around them this connection that's within them really um and they will never be apart but you know it's been hard there's been a lot of masks, you know, and a lot of pain and a lot of trauma. And it's never easy to let your guard down, Divine Masculines. And um, I have faith that you will be able to get to this, that you will be able to take flight in your life and really make those changes that you need to in order to reap the benefits of the seeds that you sow because you are doing a great job and you are just you 
you are really in this phase of change. And it's scary, but you've got this. You've got this, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, your soul tribe is coming. So although your pains have been heavy, your pains have been heavy, you need to answer the call. You need to answer the call so that you can move away from any of those things that and move towards your divine feminine away from any of those things that have been hurting you and causing you pain and that you have been fighting all the battles you have fought you need to start fresh you need to move forward you need to allow yourself to have the strength to move ahead so that you can reap the benefits and be in this committed understanding with your divine feminine so okay that was a beautiful reading for the divine masculines and i hope you only the best of luck and if you enjoyed this um, i'm probably going to be doing some more of these readings it seems to be calling out to me more and more spirits been guiding me and um, we will see how it progresses so thank you so much for your time and i look forward to having your energy with me again in the future. Take care, everybody.